Hi, this is another Creation Kit tutorial. Um, in this one, we're going to be looking at a couple of settings here, which are the acoustic space setting and the reverb parameters. These are kind of linked in a way. Um, this is kind of about putting your own sort of um, reverberation, your own acoustic spaces into the game and applying them to your cells and to your environments. So first starting with the reverb parameters, this just basically defines as it says on the tin, reverb parameters. So I've created one here. And if we look at it, it's essentially Skyrim's own built-in reverb effect. And you have got a bunch of presets here you can choose from. You have concert hall, cave, arena, hangar, all sorts of things. There is a veritable plethora of settings. So we've got reverb amplitude, decay time, reverb delay, room filter, room high filter. There's There's, there's a whole lot of stuff there. You can also test your settings, so you can have a listen to your reverb by all of these. If we just look for something impact, say for example, that tends to come up with something a little bit more loud that we can sort of test. So if you listen here, you can play that sound, and you can hear the reverb applied. Now, so we drop that down, it'd be like a lot drier. We can add loads of reverb, and it goes on forever. So we're going to have quite a half decent sort of, about four seconds sort of reverb applied. So it's quite, quite exaggerated, but it means that we can easily test it and you can hear it in effect in the game. Now, once you've created a reverb parameter, you can save that as a setting there. So essentially just a, like a plugin preset really. And then they can be applied to an acoustic space. Now these are a little bit more complex um, in, in what they incorporate, being that you can open up one of these, you create your acoustic space. And there's a load of settings here. You have the environment type. Now this is your reverb settings that you just created there. Now you apply that to there, and now you have those reverb applied. There's a couple of other settings here. There's use sounds from region, so you can actually set a whole sort of palette of sounds that um, will work within the game. So if there's, it, it, region sounds can include things like sort of, you know, background noise, you know, the sounds of nature essentially. It um, can add a lot of ambience to it. Then there's also a looping sound. You can select a single sound um, from any of the sounds that are already available in the game there that can be used to loop in that area as well. So there's a lot more to acoustic space, but for now we're just going to be looking at the reverb space involved in that. So I've just applied a reverb and nothing else for now. Now, what I've done here is I've created a couple of big old cells. These are sort of rather cavernous sort of things. So I've done two of them and they're identical. So we have one here that has everything applied to it. Now in order to apply this acoustic space to a cell, it's very simple. You just open up the cell properties and here we have a default acoustic space. So in this case I've simply applied my new acoustic space to this cell and then within that cell you will hear that reverb wherever you are in that cell. Now the second one I've done for comparison, I've simply put nothing in there. So in this case, there is no acoustic space. It's exactly the same cell, but with no acoustic space. So you won't hear reverb in that one, just to test it. Well, there's another thing I want to do here, and that's thinking, well, okay, you have one big cell, say a giant cave like that. What if there's a side passage? You don't want it to, to, to echo in the same way that you would want um, the larger passage to sort of echo in, but you may want them both to belong to the same cell. So there is a way around that and you can apply a smaller amount of acoustic space within a certain shape. So up here at the top, there is a setting called create an acoustic space. So if we just click on the cell there, it will ask us what acoustic space we want to apply to this, to this area that we're going to define within the cell. And I'm going to take this acoustic space here. So if we take the reverb test space again that I've created and then we go, we get a big purple block there. Now you can resize that and you can use it to sort of, I'm going to use it here to cover the bottom of the cavern. So the idea here is that once the player enters the bottom half of the cavern, suddenly that acoustic space will apply and they'll be able to hear echo, whereas at the minute there is no default acoustic space, so you'll be able to see the transition between the two there when you go below a certain level. Obviously, that's not a very realistic application of it, but it does illustrate that it works. Um, so if we just look at this, we can go and test this in the game. Okay, so here we are in Skyrim. I'm just going to load up um, the first cell here. Now this one. 
pretty dry, you know, you can't really just hit some things a sec. So, not a lot of noise, I'll pop Cicero in here, he was a rather annoying guy, but he was speak. Ah, bother and be funnel, stuck here, stuck! My mother, my poor mother. Okay, so you got him whittling on. Um, this is the one where I've applied something on the floor, so if you go down here, you can hear it. Hopefully. Now you can hear the reverb. And there you go. So once you've crossed over that boundary, there is an acoustic space in effect there. So that's kind of handy if you want to do like little side passages, you know, to a big cavern like this. All sorts of things. Okay, so there's another one here. This this other one has the has the reverb effect applied anyway. So we go C O C A A and let's load this cell up. So this is the same cell, but with reverb all over the place, so you can hear. So you can quite clearly hear yeah. quite sort of cavernous sounds you can hear. Just little chat chatting along. Bother and be fuddled! Stuck here! Stuck! My mother, my poor mother. So that's um, reverb parameters. 